Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would start the month with a monthly TBR and a bit of a book chat kind of thing. Keep you up, well, update what I read in February um, and show you what I'm planning to read for March as well. So um, I think a lot of people had highly anticipated read in February. There were some really good books coming out. The one I was most anticipated for was A uh, Court of Silver Flames, which I read in like two days. Um, I wanted to kind of do like a video review, but I just read it too quickly and then kind of was trying to make notes. But then I was just like, I just want to sit and enjoy it. So <laughs> that may come at another point, but I have written down a blog post, which you can find on witchesreading.com if you are interested in reading what I have to say. It is full of spoilers though, so if you haven't read it yet, um, don't read the review if you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, um, I also sort of reread, uh, finished A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I think I started the month with finishing like the last 20 minutes on audio of A Court of Mist and Fury as well. So I kind of did all of those. Um, and Sight Witch was another one because even though I really love the Witchland series, I didn't have Sight Witch and I'd never read it. And then I remember reading something that Susan Dennett has said about saying that something in Blood Witch, the most recent book in the Witch and series, made more sense if you'd read Sight Witch. Um I've read reread Truth Witch and Wind Witch several times over, but I've only reread I've only read Blood Witch once when it first came out. So I can't completely remember everything, but I'm gonna reread the whole thing, well the three main books again before Witch Shadow comes out in July. So I've been reading Sight Witch. I started Red Skies Under Red Seas as well. And I have also read Wicked Saints. So they were my books read. I don't think I'm missing anything. I was kind of like in a kind of like, I can, I'm only reading, um, oh, I'm, hmm. I read Take a Hint, Danny Brown, but I can't remember if that was, I finished that in January off finished it in February but that was another book that I really loved and was really really funny so yeah Court of Silver Flames was a really good book um and obviously all the rest were kind of like rereads so yeah it was a pretty good reading month for me uh also been playing a lot of Animal Crossing <laughs> um and looking for my dream villages because that's obviously a very important thing to do alongside all of the other things that we've been doing um which hasn't been my <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so that was kind of my reading month that I felt was quite good um I ordered some like planner stickers like reading themed planner stickers and at the time of me filming this video they haven't arrived yet which is really frustrating because I wanted it to do it for March but um we still have no plans for March really other than my eldest going back to school so kind of planning anything it's, nothing's gonna happen really so I might as well save them for um a month where something will happen so obviously we've had the um government announcement with where, what's going on I'm hoping that vaccinations continue the way they're going I'm hoping that um it means we can go on our holiday that we've got booked in July in the UK we um haven't really been a we've not been abroad for years I'm quite happy with that uh, we were supposed to go in December but obviously that didn't happen so we've got our holiday booked in July which um, I'm really looking forward to and I'm really hoping we can go and it'll be as a holiday we would kind of expect we went away last year and it was a bit odd because it was kind of like everything had only just really started lifting it again. There was still a lot of restrictions in place, like we can go swimming. Um, so I'm hoping things will be a little bit better for us all when we go in July, but we'll see. We've also got something booked for December, so I'm hoping we can continue with that as well, but that's looking promising. Anyway, uh, on to my March to be read list. Uh, I am focusing mostly on hard copy books rather than audio and kindle it's been a very audio and kindle year so far for me i've got very audio heavy um but i got some really good books um that i'm really looking forward to reading and i've kind of not 
I just haven't been able to get to them. So I've got my little stack here of physical reads that I am hoping to read in March. But we will see. So um, I'll do... Right, so yeah, starting off with this one. Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long. This was an advance... Uh, oh, it was, it's a review copy, I'll say. It wasn't, it's not an advance reader copy, but it's a review copy. So there's the blurb there. Although that looks like it's backwards, so... Uh, Hesa is an Aangi, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, a battle-hardened priestess of the goddess of war with the power to turn an enemy's bones to dust with a scream, banished for disobeying her goddess's command to murder a traveller she prays for forgiveness, but while she is gone, raiders burn her town to the ground. Grieving and alone, Hesa, the last Aangi, must find the traveller and atone for her weakness. As clans from the north and legionnaires from the south tear through her homeland, slaughtering everyone in their path, Hesa strives to win back her goddess's favour. Um, beset by zealot soldiers, deceitful gods and newly awakened demons at every turn, Hesa burns her path towards redemption and revenge, but her journey has revealed a harrowing truth. The gods are dying and the high halls of the afterlife are fading. Soon Hesa's trust in her goddess weakens with every unheeded prayer. This sounds really good. I'm really glad I got this, actually. I love the cover of the book. I think it looks really cool. Um, it's a complete new-to-me author. I've never read anything that she's written. I think this is her debut book, actually. Let's have a look uh, inside. I might be wrong. No, it looks like it's... Oh, there's no other books at the beginning, so it looks like it's her debut. I'm sure it is. Uh, it's got a map, so, you know, we're on with a win. We're on to a winner there. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It sounds really interesting. I think I was just, like, so focused on reading finish enough with like a Court of Thorns and Roses series before reading A Court of Silver Flames. Everything else kind of went out the window and I wanted to read this before, but I am going to get around for it. Um, Sounds really, really interesting. It sounds really kind of like warrior, war, you know, female warrior kind of thing. Um, And all the gods and goddesses kind of stuff is going to be pretty interesting, which is what leads me into my second book, um, which will be Law. Um, I have heard such good things about this. This is the Fairy Loot edition, which I did in an unboxing a little while ago. Um, I'm yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. Did I show off the cover? Well, well this time last I don't know, but it's got a cover on the spine. Um, no, it hasn't. It's got a quote on the spine, and the art. Oh, there's the oh, dust jacket there. But yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I think it's going to be really interesting. I love the sound of it. It sounds really fierce. So yeah, um, and I've read like a snippet. I read, I did read like an advanced reader, sort of like, uh, what are they called? Like, um, like the first couple of chapters, I think it was. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that one. Um, yeah, Re yeah, just really, really looking forward to that one. Uh, the next one. Well, let's go with these two actually. So yeah, this the next one is this one, uh, Among the Beasts and Briars. Now I've heard pretty mixed things about this, but I've heard that it's also quite cute. So we'll see what I think of it. I'm not expecting anything really. Um, I haven't even read the blurb for this one. Keris is safe in the kingdom of Aloria. Here there are no droughts, disease or famine in pieces everlasting. It's been this way for hundreds of years since the first king made a bargain with the lady who ruled the forest that bordered the kingdom. Oh, is it? It's a Rapunzel sort of retelling thing, or um. Anyway, yeah, ruled the forest that borders the kingdom. As Aloria prospered, the woods grew dark, cursed, and forbidding. Karis knows this all too well. When she was young, she barely escaped as the woods killed her friends and her mother. Now Karis carries a small bit of the curse, the magic in her blood, a reminder of the day she lost everything. As a new queen is crowned, however, long things long hidden in the woods descend on the kingdom itself. Karis is forced to run for only her only companions, a small and irritating fox from the royal garden, and the magic in her veins. It's up to her to find the legendary lady of the world and beg for a way to save her home. But the road is darker and more dangerous than she knows, and, a, and as secrets from the past are uncovered amid the teeth and roots of the forest, it's going to take everything she has to just survive. I know this is kind of like a fairy tale retelling. I don't know if it's like Sleeping Beauty or if it is like um like more like Rapunzel style stuff. 
but I am looking forward to it. I really like the cover of this as well. I think it looks really good. This was a Christmas present from Adam. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I am looking forward to it. I have no, I don't really have any expectations to be honest, but um, it should be good. It should be a good read. So we'll see. Next on my hopefuls, we'll call it hopefuls because that's much more accurate than actually what I will read, um, is Master of One. This is the Fairy Loot Special Edition one. So it's got, um... oh, I love the end papers in this. I keep, I didn't do an unboxing of this one, but it's a really beautiful looking book. Like there's the artwork under there. There's the artwork there. Um, it, I don't know what to think though because I've, again I've read a lot of mixed things about people either loving this or not getting on with it so we'll see um, the way I've kind of read is it doesn't sound like it sounds more like a lot of the, the characters in this are kind of quite morally grey uh, and I know that's not for everybody all oh, the edges are sort of shimmery as well it's quite hard to film that but they're red and shimmery um, so yeah, I'm going to read it. I'm looking forward to sort of find out for myself whether I'm going to enjoy it or not. Um, I'll just say, life in the Queen City isn't easy, especially for a two-bit thief like Rags. When the late, his latest score goes sideways, he's nabbed by Royal Sorcerer Morian at the last, who forces him to steal the six pieces of an immense immeasurably powerful ancient fey relic. Rags is still determined to somehow get away unscathed until he discovers that a relic Morian is after are actually people. A distractingly handsome fey prince who has been asleep for centuries, a queen's guard deserter with more honour than common sense, a daughter of a disgraced noble family who hits first and asks questions later, a deceptively sweet-natured prince, a member of the underground resistance, neither trust and not trust nor trustworthy, and him, Rags. There's no way they can let Morian enact his dark plans, but six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy doesn't make for generous odds. Luckily, Rags is not generous. He's smart and he has a plan that just might work. So yeah, um, sounds a bit like some sort of heist sort of thing. Um, uh, so yeah, we'll see. I'm definitely intrigued. I really love the cover. Um, and there were some people that I saw really raved about this, and then there were some people that were dressed like it's just not for me. So it's kind of... Um, this made me feel it's a bit of a Marmite book. Some people really seem to love it and connect with it really easily and really well, and some people don't. Um, so we will see. And then the last one, which I'm definitely going to try and make time for this month. Oh no, I've ripped the cover. Oh, that's typical. That is Winter's Orbit, which is an Alima Crate edition um, by Everina Maxwell. I don't know when it's easy to... That's obviously, you can't read that. Um, these with green sprayed edges and the cover is really cool purple and green I love that this one I have heard excellent things about I've heard really good reviews on this one so duty politics space princes and rebellious royals the Eskar empire dominates its vassal planets through a system of treaties so when prince Tom key figure in a political alliance is killed a replacement must be found his widower Janan is rushed into an arranged marriage with the disreputable aristocrat Kiem in a bid to keep rising host hospital host <laughs> hostilities between two worlds under control. But Prince Tom's death may not have been an accident and when Janan himself is a suspect, he and Kiem must learn to trust one another as they navigate the perils of the Iskat court, try to solve a murder and prevent an interplanetary war. Everina Maxwell's debut is a space opera of a high stakes multi world politics and irresistible engaging characters, perfect for fans of Gideon the Ninth and The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Love Gideon the Ninth. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That's kind of going to be my space book, sci fi book for the, for the month. Um, I have heard really good things about this. Everyone who has read it has said, has really enjoyed it. So, that will be that one. And I think that's kind of it. That's what I'm aiming to read. Um, I'd like to finish Red Seas Under Red Skies as well. And I would like to... Oh, I'd like to... I'm joining... I'm going to read along for Throne of Glass. So I'd like to finish Crown of Midnight. The second book. I think it's Crown of Midnight. I have them right here. 
yeah i won't be reading this version because this is this is this small i have the audios so i'll be listening to that one as well um there was another book that i did last month uh, throwing a glass reread um so i love that series it's such a good series it was very mass heavy and i know that on my like plan for the year i want to reread crescent city so, <laughs> yeah um so yeah that's another one so yeah Wicked Saints was another one I read, and then I want to read Ruthless Gods is the second, I think. So that's on my that's on my plan. And I think the book club of the month for Knickknacks Book Club is from Lola Nash. Definitely gonna be reading that one. Um I have the audio of that, so I'll probably listen to that one as well. Very excited. Sounds like it's gonna be a good reading month um productivity wise no idea what we're going to be doing because not really that much has changed or will be changing anytime soon apart from going back to school um for my eldest which i think we're all really excited for um other updates there is none that's it um yeah anyway um I hope you have a good reading month, whatever you're going to be reading. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're particularly excited to or if you're reading any of those books and you want to buddy read, I will be happy to. You can look me up on Instagram at awitchesreading or head over to my blog awitchesreading.com for more. I will speak to you soon. Bye bye.